everybody, welcome to the second day of the Playton Tournaments of the Battle of the Seven Sea. As we're about to get things things set it right for the game of the NBA postseason on 2K Sports. This next matchup, we're sending you down to the Western Conference. As right now, the Sacramento Kings are now playing at Phoenix to play against the Suns. This is never seen before as Sacramento Kings have already made their way into the sixth seed. But however, for the third seed, however, this was their last postseason that they have ever made it an accomplishment in the top three teams battling in for the NBA playoff spot that happened year before with De'Aaron Fox and DeMantis Abonis. But however, things got changed. They are now in the play in tournaments and they are looking for a chance to make a win against the Phoenix Suns. They've never been playing it before in the playing tournament spots since the last part of the regular season happened to be the Suns and the Kings that are really are tight responses and we are finding out who will take the next one in. Let's see what happens now. My next commentary I will have is Paintbrush and he's also along with Boomer and finally the third commentator of the crew Welcoming in Cool Beats. Here are the starting lineups. De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Herter, Harrison Barnes, Keegan Murray, and Devanta Sabonis. On the other side for the Phoenix Suns, we have Stephen Booker, Bradley Beal, Grayson Allen, Kevin Durant, and Yusuf Nurkic. Let's get you down at Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Guys, it's all yours. I'll see you all later for the post-game show. An halftime show coming up will be Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith and Shag O'Neal. Let the games of the Western Conference Battle of the Seventh Seed begin. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And they're ready to get this thing started. And the starting fives are on. Kevin Durant and DeMantis opponents. Game coming up after this. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the NBA Play-In Tournaments. This is the second day of the game. We're now sending you to the Western Conference as the Kings are playing against the Suns at Arizona. I'm Paintbrush, and I, along with the other sideline commentators, in between a boomer and cool beast. This matchup is about to take on down from the north-southwest teams, right in between from the Pacific and the southwestern of the Phoenix Suns in Arizona. It's going to be a wild game night, and we're going to find out who will face on the face against the second team of the of the OKC Thunders. Now, this is what never have done before lately. The Sacramento Kings are the best ones to be determining. They've been really dominated out. What do you think who will go to the playoffs back in, this guys? Well, I have a lot of better feeling right now. You know, the only thing about that is that the Phoenix Suns have definitely made their playoffs in between. I really have a lot of hard runs to take, but this is a lot of like a hard scrimmage out there that they're really doing this. But sometimes, however, I really might be thinking that Bradley Beal wants to do this one again, so let's find out if it is. I have a lot of consequences on that one in between, but it might be another way to make a change off. Might be another change set. You may never know what's going to be happening like. Darren Fox scores a jump in drive, and this one will be the sec first bucket in the play-in tournament. After Sabonis with the alley-oop pass from the Darren Fox, now has their team up by four. Allen, he passes over to Booker. We start things off for KD. Has already scored this last game against the Brooklyn Nets. He made that one an easier to take on this rhythm. But his last game appearance at Brooklyn, he made it uncourageable today. You know how well he does? Tell me what it is now. Well, KD is definitely like a biggest legendary player ever. You have to believe on him. I have a lot of like a courtesy to do this. I want to see if KD does it again. You know, I haven't got a good feeling right now. Let's see what he can do. KD back on the outside, now finds Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal switches over. Here's Booker for Allen for three. He'll get it back. Nurkic takes it over again to KD. KD looking it over, finds Beal. Beal on a drive. The foul is called on Kevin Herter. 
And right now, Bradley Beal will head to the free throw line, shooting two. First trip for the Suns. And this one was not the better drive that you're looking at it, because Bradley Beal, he was way looking at the rim right away. But Herder knew he would have defend that one, but he got him fouled. First trip to the free throw will be Phoenix Suns, shooting two for Bradley Beal. His last game appearances was played with the Washington Wizards. He had made his team into overtime, but now he has made his new contract after a trade-off here from Chris Paul. He wants to see what he can do with his next generation. He makes the first free throw. You know, I have a lot of like a hard feeling for Bradley Beal, but hey, tell him what. If everything is going to go the same way that he does, let him command it. He's got it all proven down like he does. You know, yeah, Bradley Beal might be a great player in the battle. I mean, I've never seen how well he was doing, but, you know, the thing, it's just one way that you can try to stop on. Give him a go. And he makes the second free throw. Phoenix trail by two. Here's Fox. He's covered up by Devin Booker. He gives the pass off to Harrison Barnes. Screen on to Bonas. Watching Nurkic on him. And a first throw on denies for Nurkic. Layup up. No good. You know I never see what Nurkic does. He has the first rejection of the night. Gotta start things off. Oh! Wow! Bradley Beal finishes off with a throw down. And Nurkic with the assist. You know, I can't believe what you can do, that slam. I mean, he's like a crazy guy. Can't believe him on now for Bradley Beal. After Nurkic pass, go for a finish. Foul's called on KD. That'll be their first team foul for Phoenix. 4.32 left to go in the first. When this drive comes to beat Keegan Murray, he made that one a little clear path. He found an open room and he has a layup, but this one calls him for a foul. That's a great call. First trip will be to Sacramento, as right now Keegan Murray at the free throw line shooting too. Coming up for the next game, we will see the next one coming in, as the team of already been lost was Orlando Magic. He'll be facing against the winning team in between the Hawks and the other team of the Bulls. Now this is another take here, and we'll find out who will be the next one here. So stick around here for the next game that will be coming up here for tomorrow. That will be the next one to start off with a 9 and 10 to get in to play against the other teams, to stay alive in the game. And the others will be going home and finishing their regular season at the end. And you know Keegan Murray was, really has done that one to make all of his pursuit. He made that pressure. He might have to do it for us again, somehow, in the near future. And so he gets the free throw down. This one extends up by two. And now here's Booker. Try to look for somebody else. Now you'll give it over again to Allen. Allen trying to look it over again. Cross move, finds Booker. KD on a three. Three down. That's KD's first three point of the night. Up by one. And this was amazing. I love Kevin Durant. Making you feel like you're on the legit. Easier enough, easy go. Gotta keep on going for KD, he's a better assistant. Here's Murray, you will have that ball right away. Sabonis with the screen. Holds on Nurkic. Watching his side, KD rejects that shot. Back the other way is Booker. He now swings it again to Beal. Beal now over again, back to Allen. With a new line change, gives the pass to Nurkic. Back to KD, down to six on the shot clock. Booker for three. Another missed target comes up for Phoenix Suns. It's not what you need to do for the free pointers. Let it keep on going with the defensive. Don't lose your attackers, because if you do, it's gonna be a hard one to take. And that turns it over to go with Sacramento Ball with only 322 left. And now with a new changeup, we have a couple players standing by. Monk and Lyles are checked in. As now for the Suns, Nurkic is checked out, and Ubangs checks in. Here's a two for the bonus. Misses the two-pointer range. Durant has his second rebound of the night. Now we'll swing it over to Allen. 
Allen swings again. Now back to Beal. Beal wants to do something else. Katie looking for screen by Eubanks. Double man on him. Can't find anybody. Eubanks over Sabonis. Can't yeah, have it back. Katie up. Good. And he puts in a rebound and he has his second bucket of the night. You know when you go with the Eubanks shot and you try to let go with the subjection of the screen? You gotta make sure you have that one at the right time. You know, an easier way, that's all that happens now. You gotta keep on going big. Monk for three. That one goes in to tie it up. It's nine. As this one comes to be a close game in the first period, but now Booker decides to give it over to Durant. Now flying back to Beal. Move it back to Booker. Booker needs to go with a new idea change. Down to six. Who banks up? Good team by Sabonis. That first miss comes up for Drew Eubanks, and now with the fast break. This one stops. Up again. A good denying shot. That must be Durant, or it must be Eubanks. I don't know if it is. If it, if, if it becomes to be a bloking shot, I'm thinking there might be a Durant with the block shot. I'm guessing it's going to be him. Mm, I must say it's Drew Eubanks. I don't know what will this be, but let's see what it is. Kevin Durant with a number two point bucket score. China Hill, lead ahead. Sacramento calls timeout with nearing 90 seconds in the first period. They're going to have to start things off strong. They're going to need to go with another opportunity to go, go again. The NBA Play-In Tournament is brought to you part by your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Sour Patch Kids. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. After a new group here on the offense, they are trying to look to see what happens with the Suns if there is a probability in their ranking. Let's have your take there, Boomer, and the cool piece of what the prediction will be. You know, impossible offense is not going to be enough to make the difference out of them. They really have to do for a lot of bigger changes to do with their offense. They need to do something else about it instead. But they can't be leaving off the mark. If they do something that they shouldn't be doing, then they're going to have to, like, change it over. they got to go with a different strength here. But the head coach is really are trying to, like, help them out with their players. They're not getting well hydrated enough. Well, I have a lot of bad feelings here for the Phoenix Suns. If they lose again, then their season will be coming down toward the wire. But they're not done yet because they have to play against the winning team in between the Warriors and, of course, the Lakers. That might be the top-ranging team that they're looking for. After a three-point main for the Sacramento Kings, here's O'Neal. Gordon decides to tie it. Yes, sir! He makes that in. Aaron Gordon with the first three-pointer, and Royce O'Neal with the assist. There it is. That's what you need to do. Keep a close range out of that. Nobody can hard to take out if they want to go with. Looking it over again. Trying to find room. Open pass his opponents. And that one's missed again. Another miss by Sacramento and now back again to Durant. Durant swings again. Let the clock wind down. Here's O'Neal. O'Neal swings it back to Drew Booker. Damn it, Booker. On a job block. It is the nine. And that one goes to Lyles. That goes to Mike to stop their arc. Well, I don't know if this one happens to be like this, but that is going to be like a hard one to take. And Booker, will he take it? No, that one's off the board. So we come to the end of the first quarter. Sacramento lead by two. We'll take a quick break, and we will come back with you for the second period. Close start, close game. Let's find out if there's another way. I'd love to hear from them. We got the second quarter coming in underway here in Phoenix, Arizona, as the Sacramento lead up by two. Now, there are questionable balls out there about Sacramento Kings. They might be looking for a higher player percentage here to get back into this one. But some of our players can't handle this one. They don't have any room to try to take the pick up. Look, 
What did this happen? Let's have a call for the you guys. Well, in my case, in my uh, my questionable what happens to be the Suns and for the Kings, they really are trying to make sure they need to look for another changeup. This setup is going to be a hard take, but don't let it get unhandled. They need to do some else favor to do this one with our step. They have to do this again, and they can't leave it off the mark. That has to be another way to do this one on their set, and they can't leave the mark off for an open mark. This gap is a hard one to take. Another drive comes in for another one for the Kings, and they are going back to back. Yeah, the tough range is out there. I'm not sure what's going to happen right now because there might be another change off in another direction. They need to do some a lot of like the percentage to keep up with their passes. Their fourth down motions are getting it armed out, but don't let them get away with that. Nurkic over again. Two good for Nurkic. He has his first bucket. Just back up in the lead. The big change, and there's a lot of good chances that they're doing this. Keep on the great work there. Here's Monk. The try is missed. Little takes it over to Beal. And Beal will try to give off to Little. Looks for Beal to finish the arc. What a try! And what a assist by Little, as Beal has nine points. Now Mitchell will have it. The screen. Up of the alley-hoop, nice rejection by Nurkic to stop on Lyles. Just about 5.23 left to go in the second, and Durant looking for more. Beal, give pass back to Durant. Six on the shot clock, Beal, two-man defender, good! Beal with 11 points. In the first half, ranging in as Kevin Durant with these six. That one really has to go with a great look for Bradley Beal. He might have to do one for a one time to a bigger defense. I've got great powers in him. He's going to do well when he can. Herder makes the three-pointer. They're back down by two. On the back range on the outside, it's going to be a lot hard to take. Not everybody can do it, but the old one, I keep on messing it up. Now he swings back over again to Little. Little pushes up. Now he finds again to Durant. Bounce pass to Okoji. And now Nurkic up. The two. Good. Okoji with the assist. Nurkic with his second bucket. It's a 25-21 lead as Sacramento trail by four. Here comes the putback. And a layup will send in for Murray. They're going back in now. Trailing by two. This was a close game on the offense of inbounds. Not everybody out there been able to shoot it. But they might need to do a number change off they can do it anyway to keep on the range on site. Here's Little on the outside. Back over now to Durant. Five on the shot clock. Up at the two. It's good. KD with nine points. Looking to tie with this game by Bradley Beal. 27-23 is the score. Here's Mitchell. Nice D by Durant. We do have a lot of rebounds to take here, but they're looking pretty fast out there. Do you think this will be a Phoenix taking over with the rebound instead? Well, I'm pretty sure there might be another change off to make another look. You know, there might be another changing off to this game, of course. But let's see what they can do. Durant can beat the shot clock, he's fouled. This one goes to Mitchell with his first personal. Durant at the free throw line shooting two. And he will have to take his own time to get right in it. You know, Kevin Durant has been one of the best legendary players in the game. First, he started off in 2013 to play with the OKC Thunders with Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Then his next game, he had definitely made some trade-off, and he, now he's been going to do this for all for his place. He's turning to be a one-time gamer enough to go one in between, and he's really been stepping up to his pace. I like it when he does for his ultimate legendary career. He does have a video out of it, and then he wants to show it all to the elementary school publics of how direct can be. New substitute changing for the Kings as all four players checked out. Beal, Allen, and Booker are checked back in as Beal is on shooting guard position. And he hits the second free throw. Timeout call by Sacramento with 3.17 to go. We got a quick break here, and we will catch you right back into this one. Durant on the money line, looking like he wanted to do it. 
Let's show him how it's done. Maybe for MVP. Who never knows? Could be one day for another one. We are nearing down to the two minute marker right now, and there's only like a little bit of like three minutes left to go. But coming up for the halftime report, as we have, we have all the free commentaries for our halftime reports here for the first half, as Ernie Johnson, Kenny, and Shaq are ready to take things things on. All breaked up, we're ready for anything. Now, here's a question for right now. The new replacement here for the head coach can be a lot that challenging. But this harder event, participants are really going to be a hard one to take. But you know, this offense is not going to be like a change-off if they wanted to do one. You know, I have a lot of agreements to take to take for all their possession. Maybe they wanted to do this one under more? Well, you never know what's going to be happening like that. And that could be one change into another. They want to do it on their own. So let's find out if they can definitely take it in. With a new substitutional change, as Sabonis is back onto the court, as for Nurkic, he's only had made his 63% of the field goals. Only last 30 days, he only had made eight rebounds, and his percentage of shooting only had to be one. Well, it might be going for another change of pickup. Look, maybe their offense could be a lot challenging. Maybe they might be doing it again, but they'll have to see what they can do. We have a lot of rebounds to take here. This one's going to be number 13 for Phoenix Suns, and seven only stays with the Sacramento Kings. Beal now finds Allen. Allen swings again. Here's O'Neal. Pretty good on the outside. He has his first three-pointer of the night, and Beal with the assist. All going to make a correction, and you're going to do it all over. That's for Royce O'Neal to do with his best techniques. Now past the bars for three wide up and look. No good. Now over Sacramento with the win against Denver. He made up it a lot harder and challenging, but his last appearance in season three was not their way to be here. But actually, this was a hard one to do for his inbound. Not their day to be, uh, they all can't. Well, this is no way to make the hard exception, but this might have been a change up if they really wanted to do it on the road. Let me think about it. And let's just handle it all. We have to find out what they can do. We have a report for David Aldridge just right now. De'Aaron Fox has been going over with his point guard position. He's been really been dominating his effort, and this way, the scoring drop was not their way to be here. But this offense keeps on living it, and we'll see what he does. Got to make a good connection here. De'Aaron Fox, got to do it all. Now back again to Booker. Six on the shot clock. Booker in the middle layup. Good. That one goes in as Booker has the first bucket. And Beal looking for a deal with another assist of the game for the bench assists. And timeout again by Sacramento. Passing a 90 minute mark, 90 second mark. And this one will be up for 36 23. We've got a lot of it to come in action by, but we are looking to see what they can do to keep the arc down. Let's find out what they can do. They want to just try to pick up their play runs. Might be a change off, but you can definitely hear the fan go up. Keep on going. After a time has been released, we have back, and right now they make new changes on the court. Fox finds a bonus. It's a bonus in the middle. Good team by Ubanks. Ubanks has got a second rebound of the night. Now go back to O'Neal. Loose the ball, and it's Fox with the steal. Here's a chance. Barnes for two. Good. And Fox will take the assist here. And this one pressuring it back. You know, you can't make a mistake here on offense. If you're doing playing on defense, if you lose the ball, you've got to make some new changes. That's what they need to do. But you have to do something else to try to pull it back instead. They've got to look for some help. Not their way to be here, but don't let it get handled. The ball missed out as the ball tips it over back again to Barnes. And here's Murray to sure now boo it banks with that block. Here's Allen. Give it back to Booker. Try to get out of the zone as Ubanks will step it out. And Booker will make a new change. Overhead pass to Allen, and he will take it in there. No foul on Sacramento as Booker got the assist. Got a good feed off. You got to give it to Allen. What a scoring in the paint. 
And now Fox will have it. Down to 10 seconds. Passes to his opponents. Layup good. This one will be Aaron Fox with another assist. And Booker will stop here. That ends the first half with 38 to 27. This one's a hard one to beat, but we'll see what they do. Time now to send you over to David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the point's coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. Stay tuned. The first quarter's coming up after the halftime show. See you later. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny and Jed Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. If you're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. They're in a terrific position now thanks to their flawless execution in the second quarter. Some excellent work offensively now has them up 11 at the break. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Suns. Well, they're showing a lot of discipline at the offensive. If you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And Kenny, your take on Sacramento. Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys will get it burned on the ground. They went for the hand up, hand, hand, you can say, hand down, hand down. Oh, you got to give them some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in, we welcome you back at Footprint Center. About to get underway in the third quarter. Looking for a percentage out there, we've got great ones to take. Phoenix Suns are bringing Bradley Beal on its way from Washington to Phoenix, Arizona. He's been a great one. I know he has been crushing a lot of this hard offense, but he likes to take his own effort, and he wants to settle down a bit without missing the shot. Yeah, he's been a great. I know he was like a, a big time champion, but I don't know if you would be able to feel that if Bradley Beal does it all, I'm betting that he would be able to do his best in his routine effort. Can be a great one to take. We start things off in the third quarter, all fields are ready to go. Timonis is on Nurkic. Then across here is Keegan Murray Barnes on again over to Allen. Beal is with Kevin Herter. Devin Booker with the Aaron Fox. And finally, we have across here is Bradley Beal. Sorry about that. I mean, we also have uh, Kevin Durant, and he's all along with Keegan Murray. Here's a cut inbound. Barnes for three. It's off the rim. Rebound puts in for Taventa Simonez. A put back in, and this one back to another rebound to cut down by 12. Now back to Allen. Back again to Beal. Beal speaks again to Allen. Great ball movement for the Phoenix Suns as they're making a lot of new changes. Nurkic over Sabonis, layup it in, as Nurkic has six points. This one comes to Belk with a 14-point lead. They really are keeping it going. This offense is going to keep on coming. Wow, Herder slams it down, shows the boss who is now. There's no way that you're wanting to do that because Kevin Herder really got it all performance. And it's stolen. Here's Herder on the fast break. To fade the arc. Layup. No good. Kevin Durant brings it back again to Nurkic. He now over again to Booker. Sorry, Allen. Beal, Nurkic, bounce pass to Durant. Durant swings again to Beal. Beal swings again to Nurkic. Over again to Durant on a step back. It's good! Having Durant with 13 points. Trying to look for his ahead from Bradley Beal and to Devin Booker. Well, Devin Booker had a little, a little average rating. He might have been trying to like keep that one high on the strength. Might have to keep an eyes on it if he wants to go for it again. Kevin Durant makes a rebound and a number miss here for Sacramento. Here's Bradley Beal. Beals slides it back to Durant. 
Growlin tries to go for three. Miss off the mark as Nurkic makes a rebound. Peel on the outside. Try to look over it again. Now get again to Durant and he's out of bounds. That one turns it over to Sacramento. A second turnover for Phoenix Suns. You're not going to get handled this point. Stay off the court of the sideline. Stay on the court if you can get there. News group substitution is right now. The full players are checked out as Monk. And now the airway comes in here for the Suns as Okoji is checked in. Along with the air player of Eric Gordon. Just down to the mark with 418 left to go as Booker will try to handle it off. Get back to Nurkic. Ball moving. Eric Gordon for three. Offensive rebound. Okoji again to Durant. Durant trying to look for open room. Look again to Booker. Down to five on the shot clock. Up again to Barnes. Over the head and in the way up drop. As Durant has 15 points. Oh, everybody loves Durant. You can hear the fan right now. I mean, you always see the sign. That's what you do better. And another miss by Herder. He's losing his effort right now. I don't probably not be thinking of what's going to happen right now, but this may not be their day if they wanted to get this thing done. Now he will give back to Booker as he's crossing the other side of the court. Booker trying to look it over. And Durant, fade a shot. Gordon, over Herder. It's good. Eric Gordon with five points. 48-34 is the score. Sacramento Kings need to get back into it work. This hard one's offense is not going to be a lot of great day for them. Might need new changes, that's all. Tipped. Monk recovers the ball. Mitchell for three. Misses again. Oh man, that one's going to be a hard pressuring for those team as they're putting another rebound for the Suns. They had 23 rebounds now and nine only put up for the Sacramento Kings defense. Booker trying to get back to Gordon. Booker, again that to step back to, and he never going to get away with this as Booker has another two point down. Timeout call by Sacramento. They have three timeouts remaining, and they are wasting a lot of time. Well, their defense is not picking up a good steam. You know what happens? Because this offense is not going to take a lot of like a hard percentage out there. They really are looking over this, and they do not want to be left alone all the time. Because of that happens, it doesn't help. They need to do something here quick to try to get it done. Over on that offense, we have a lot of struggle majoring in this defensive setting. They may need to do some a lot of changes if they wanted to get this thing back down again. It's not easy enough of what they do, but what is the key to try to put up success, guys? The key is for putting in a lot of a great extensions. They really are trying to look like they want to get back in the zone. You know, the, the hard feeling about it is that they really have to keep on coming down. They do not want to be left alone here, and they need to do something else about it to try to keep on going with the attacks. This is not a great way to do with their offense, but they really are looking over to struggle it, and this may not be their day. If they want to keep it going, they got to keep on showing up. Some changes for the Phoenix Suns and for the Kings as Dartes checked in. He never been playing it before, as he now has a good herder. Checking out. And now back again. Here's Barnes. Barnes try to step back in. Monk on the way on Mark. Good. Three-pointer makes it in. As this one goes back down to 50-37. They're trailing by 13. And now he gives it Booker. Passes down to O'Neal. O'Neal swings it again to Okoji. Okoji dish off to Gordon. Up with a two, it's good! That's another two for Gordon as he has seven points. And we are under two minutes remaining. You know what happens with KS and Eric Gordon? He really gets to go with the shot. Think about this. He's going like a craziness to take the offensive away from him. And that may be one thing enough that they want to keep on going. And now Ubank's back the other way. Here's another one for O'Neal. Yeah, Harrison Barnes not getting good at this point. He only had two points in this game. One out of nine percentage, it's not their day to be here. You know, the offense have got a lot of like a hard trigger like they're they're like getting over this point. You know what happens? They never get it well easily. They're trying to get this one done, and it's not easy enough to get it done. 
Royce O'Neal with a two-pointer with the layup. You know what I'm saying right now? Because they really are crushing this offense, and they are not going to do it hard enough to get right into this. Dante with nobody open. It's good. Open wide, two-pointer range as he goes with another one for Monk. One minute remaining in the third period, and now give it up to Gordon. He now gives to Booker. Gives a swing back to Okoji. Over again to O'Neal. Swing back again to Booker. Down to eight on the shot clock. They need to do some targets here. Oh, the floater makes up an in there. He got lucky this time as Josh Okoji with his first bucket. You know, he's all quiet now. He's finally made his way in. Welcoming in the third quarter. Darte finds again the bug for three. And he misses again. Ubanks has a three rebounds of the game, and now he will sing it over again to Booker. Here's another chance. Ubanks in. Good pass by Booker. As Ubanks with his first bucket, and that one puts for Devin Booker. He's been on the runoff chain. Oh, yes. You can definitely feel that he's on a great motion. He's on stop board. And Booker back the airway. He has five assists in this game and looking for a buzz beater, he misses. That ends the third quarter with a 58-39 score. Looks like they're going to take on against the OKC Thunders on its way down. Keep on coming, don't let it go stop on now. He's been great. Ever since then, you're going to do with a lot of chances. You've got to pick them off, boost your team. Third quarter's the end. Fourth quarter's coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA Playing Tournaments on 2K Sports. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now, a great way to do this, I've had a lot of great chances on them to see what their ball movement is. They've got a great a lot of passing skills, and you give off to uh, Durant, and he's been doing absolutely a monocon to make that one count in. And also for Booker, you give it off as well. Three quarters have been finished. We come down to the final quarter. As right now, Beal and your team are ready to go. Fox is on Bradley Beal. And Aaron Gordon, he's on here on Dante. Then across from here, we have is Kevin Herter. He's also along with the with Devin Booker. And they are Fox. He's at the free throw line shooting two. Nurkic is with on with on lineup, with on his opponents. And lastly, taking the on the other side of it with another team foul. They're trying to keep out out of sight. The danger zone is not helpful. You have to try to like believe on it. You gotta take all with your response, and you gotta make sure you be ready by then. Because if you don't do it right, they're gonna call a foul, and you're gonna be unlucky. Free throw puts in for Fox. I never know what the Aaron Fox does. After he has been playing for a most career of his all-time effort, he really wants to do for his next NBA awards. Maybe it may not be the day for them, but don't let them be out fool you because you know that De'Aaron Fox really wanted to get this thing down. All coverage, all exact post, they just really need to do this for a big thing. They want the point guards to be a responsive. That's what they do to get it done. Exactly right. Now here's Beal. He will swing off to Allen. Allen Andarte, he now gives it then back to Gordon. Herder with him, shoots over again, and good! Every quarter with nine points! It's a 60-41 game, they are stunning it. Oh, just gotta believe it, you must do it all of them. The foul has been reached on Nurkic with his second personal, and now the new changeup is coming in, as right now, Gordon checked out, and Little is checked back in. Allen moves over to the shooting guard position. Here's Fox on the outside, with a three, misses the target, and lets it go, it will be over again, this sudden fall. 6.18 left to go in the fourth quarter, and this one might not be their day if they want to be out there all for the living. You know, it happens to be one of the best plays in this offense. It may not be that, but you know, all that happens to be a difficult situation. They need to do some a lot of favorites. They need to do some a lot of one of their uh, techniques with their special team lineups. 
we have to do something else with a lot of change off that they can do that one right from here. They gotta do some a little help on that. Nurkic. Step back. The two. Good. Nurkic with eight points over his opponents. 62-41 to score. And now here's Fox. He will have it here. Try to give out to Darte. Darte hurt him for three. And good. Oh, he's been perfect already with the three pointers, but he never misses. But sometimes he really misses from the third quarter of the three pointers making it in. It's not easy what they do. Uh, you know what happens to the offense. They don't get a wall easily enough. They need to do some a lot of quick transitions to do it in between. They can't leave them all alone. They don't want to leave them out. They've got to work hard. Nice shot for Allen. He has a second bucket. Show him who's your teaching now. Oh, don't get away with that one if you know how to do it. Fox, and he's fouled. That one goes with his third on Nurkic. And he's trying to like watch out for this foul trouble. They're going all over crazy on him as Fox gets back to the free throw line. You know what happens when they all spin? He was trying to block it, but he just got whipped it. And yet, he did stumble back out there. That's going to be a hard contact and foul for his Phoenix Suns to take with him. Free throw coming up for Eddie De'Aaron Fox with 5.04 left to go. They're trailing by 20. Missed the first free throw. This offense can't be like a lot stoppable change. They have to believe it. That they need to do some a lot of quick strategy. They need some else to go with their bench setups. And this game is harmless. They need to do some alive changes in this set. Fox hits the free throw down. They're back down by 19. And Beal will have it over now again to Allen. Here he comes! Oh, what a finish drive for Grizzly Allen! And Beal with the assist. Allen's got six points in this game, under five minutes remaining. And Fox over the two, and good, makes it in there. And now they're just reaching their way in, down by 17. Little, again to Allen. Pulls it again, back to Beal. With the finishing drive, oh, Beal, he never got to slow down that point. He has 15, and Little with the assist. If you know what happens now, because Brandon Beal has been really been the dominating on this percentage. I think he needs on a smoke out. You have to show him who's the teaching of this game. Can't believe how you can do. Burner for three. Good. The outside range is on the mark. It's a 68-50 game. Keep on going for Kevin Murder if he gets a three-pointer down. Here's Nurkic. Back down to Allen. Allen. Move again to Durant. Good ball movement for Phoenix Suns. Moving back and forth. And Durant over Murray. Good. He makes it in. Durant has 17. He's on a great range inbound. Got to keep an eye on him if you want to do it again. Herder again for three. And he does it again. Three to three pointers coming in as the Aaron Fox with the assist. 70 to 53 is the score. He now swings again a little. Now Allen. Over again to Beal. Beal swings again to Allen. Back step. Looks again to Durant. Durant. Try to go for number two. Oh man, he's not going anywhere. Durant has 19 points. Beating over Herder by 14 points by 5 points. You know what happens now because you definitely do what you deserve. And Sabonis makes a drive. Timeout call by Phoenix Suns with only under three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Here are the coming up games as right now the 9th and 10th seed are coming in underway. The first game we will be sending you down to Chicago as the Bulls face against the Orlando Hawks for the 9th first 10th seed game. Following along with the Western Conference game will be the Lakers versus the Warriors and this will be all for set up for everything. This happened to be the last postseason, and we've seen them since season three. There will ultimately have to be like a change off to the school drops. There might be another way to go with reverse off foul inbound. There may be a change off that they can try to like keep an eyes on tight. 
But I'm thinking Stephen Curry might duck it in for three. There might be a lot of upsets to pick up in. I'm thinking there might be a never changing that they can do. But let's show them how they do with their respect. They really are dominating this performances and you know what could go wrong? They're gonna have to like try to keep up their scoring drought. The same thing goes with the other team itself. And you have a chance now to represent your New Balance player of the game. And for this one, it goes all to all the famous player, Kevin Durant. I know Kevin Durant really does show him out, but he's been like a machine. Scored the droughts in, and he's been like a beast. He's on fire for tonight. Might be going to do this one again to bring on against the second seed team. Just under three minutes remaining as Booker will have his possession. He gives it off to Beal. Beal trying to look over back again to Booker. Bounce pass is Durant. And another shot. Oh, yes, he does. Kevin Durant with 21 points. On 20 minute court, he's been perfect. Oh, man. You've always had to say that Kevin Durant does it. He's been like amazing. If Arn steps out of bounds, the free second will be called on Nurkic. And this free throw will come in for a one on one score and drop as Barnes will be at the free throw line shooting one. And he misses the shot. Here's Fox. He'll have his own time looking for some open space and offense. Here's a bonus. Oh, wow. You made that slam dunk down. After Fox with the assist, it's 74 57. You know, I never feel about the Mantis opponents, but that's a lot of great strategy if you're doing this offense or more, and you've got a big here. Nurkic over Sabonis. Great D by Sabonis. Only two minutes remaining in the fourth, and now Herder trying to get to Fox. It's off the rim, and this one goes back to Booker. He has his third rebound, and now get to Nurkic. Durant to go for three. Misses the three pointer outside the corner. Kevin Herter, Fox for three. And never missed by Sacramento. Oh, he's been not doing really well at this point. I know what happens. They're giving up threes, they're not showing the response. They have to do something else about it. Here's Durant, back again to Booker. Now swings to Nurkic. Up for a layup. And Nurkic with 10 points. Nearing down to a final minute remaining in the in the regulation period. It's 76-57. Fox stepping in bound, watching the free second violation, and the rebound puts up a Nurkic. He has it to Allen. He goes right over it again to Bale. And now back to Booker. Swing again to Durant. Let the clock wind down as Beal gives it again to Booker. He shoots over Fox, and what do you know, Booker has his third bucket. That's a good scoring to finish out with the bucket points, and that's it. Then you can definitely do it on your own. When nobody else is open, it's hard to do this on your own. That's a bonus, oh my! Over on Kevin Durant, and that will have to end here with only 30 seconds left. Here's Durant, will give it off to Booker. He now gives it back to Allen. Gives it off to Beal. Laying the clock wide down, and this one will go back over to Booker. Six on the shot clock. He gives it to Beal, and it's stolen. Last possession for the Kings. Fox will end their game here. Phoenix Suns wins the game, and they are facing against the second seed of the OKC Thunders. This one turned to be a 78-59 score, and what a game for KD. Every player, they do best 
They've done their hard work. Great strength. This is what they do to play them well. Time to send you down to the to David, David Aldrich for the game reporter of the of the night. Hey Dave. Thanks very much. Bradley, congratulations on the win. And how important is it to get this win at home when you got this road trip coming up? Well, it's real important. Uh, you always gotta take care of your home court and at the same time. Uh, I mean, it gives us a winning streak now. So I think we have to come out and be ready to play. Uh, it's a lot of tough team, but I think we're going to be ready for the challenge. Congratulations again, Bradley. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you very much. And I'll wrap it up with me, Paintbrush, along with Cooler and Cool Beats. This has been a presentation of the play-in tournaments of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you all again later for the playoffs. All right, guys, thank you very much. Is this one turned to be all for Suns, and they have been putting, we are Phoenix, and we are heading to the playoffs to face against the second seed team. Here's how they did with the total games of the statistics of they done. Field goals for 70% for the Suns, 40 and 71 percentage for free throws and three-pointers, only seven fast break points for the Kings. 34 was Phoenix Suns in the points in paint, Second chance points was even, and same thing with bench points is also. 28 for the Phoenix Suns, but in this one turned to be another offensive rebounds and defense rebounds, with 7 and 26. Only 4 steals happened to be Sacramento Kings, but only 5 blocks has appeared for Phoenix Suns. Only 7 points off for turnovers, and too many of them turned to be 6 for the Suns on the home side. 2 team fouls for Sacramento, 4 dunks was performed. 21 percentage for the biggest lead of the Suns, and 1651 was their time of possession for the Suns to keep on going. Only two timeouts remained for the Sacramento Kings, but they never used one exactly the same. And with that being said, time for three star players of the game. I send you down to Wood Spoonie. All right, thank you very much. Time for three star players of the game. The first third star, as we are giving off to one of our bestest, and this one goes to Kevin Herter. With 12 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steers. Only have to make that one with a 5 out of 7 field goal range, 4 3 pointers, and 18 performance run. He only made one dunk, and now we all turn to be the finishing of the game. Time for number 2. Now the second star will happen to be on the other side, Bradley Bale. Your ultimate player of the game for the for 15 points. Great percentage to take one three-pointers. Excellent range of the field goes. And one rebound. Only five assists was remained. And full 26 performance with one dunk. He's been aggressive and he's showing on his side. And your first star player of the game. Kevin Durant, your New Balance player of the game. 21 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1 block. He's like a fire making. 9 out of 10 field goals, 1 3 pointers, and 28 performance run. Turn to be great and ready for playoffs in the game. I will be seeing which players are going to turn out the best in each game. Back to you, Son of Beast. Woodspoony, thank you very much. And this one comes to towards the game as we're ready to see the 9th and 10th seed of the battle. The winner that moves on will take it in to stay alive against the losing team that played here for the last game. And this one will be in between by the range of 9th team of the seed or the 10th team of the seed. We've seen the last game and this was all to be favorite of Chicago Bulls. But now they're in the 9th seed. Will they stay alive or will Trey Young ice them out to end their season? You'll find out for the next game on its way down for tomorrow night's game. Thank you all for watching and I hope I'll appreciate you for the next part of the skit, also with games as well. You got pretty good um good strategy to keep on going things on, but hopefully we'll keep it going. Anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in for the NBA play in tournaments. And if you like this video, please like the video by clicking the thumbs up button. Click on the notification bell and hit the subscribe button. It's for helping me the best way to support for the channel and for the work I do. And there's also a lot more coming in right now, so we'll have to see what goes in next. And the top videos of and the top list of the episode of the Inanimate Sanity Invitational that will be 
on its way down there soon. So keep your eyes for that one here, and I'll be doing that one right away across that soon. I've done so many reactions of it, and there might be tons of it that I'll be doing it more right away down towards its setup. And the skit, however, I will try to do for some, the truth, it might be a hard one to do for the setup, but I'll try to do the best I can. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA 2K24 of the play-in tournament dial. This is Son of Beast. Follow me on my media. Thanks for watching. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.